Hey everyone, it's John Moran here with Solutions 8, and today is going to be a video about how to know if a DSA, also known as a dynamic search ad campaign, is going to work for you or your business. And there's a very simple way to get a good understanding or a good preliminary results of if your website is going to be um, effective on a DSA campaign. And for those who don't know what a DSA campaign is, a dynamic search ad campaign, think of it like instantaneous SEO. So Google bot scans your pages of your website and then identifies commonly searched keywords and key phrases that it believes will match to either your homepage or your blog or your about page or service page, product page, whatever it is. It dynamically generates a headline and dynamically generates the landing page that Google thinks is the most relevant to send a user to. Now, how this would work is when you start a DSA campaign, you don't you don't get to choose keywords. You get to choose ad targets, like what they call a dynamic ad target, which is essentially what pages you would want traffic to go to your site from or go land on, like your landing pages. And then Google is going to scan those pages and then run that in the location that you choose with the daily ad spend that you choose and dynamically generate the ads and send traffic to the pages that you defined. Now, there's much more to this. I think we have a video on how to launch a DSA campaign. Um, if not, I'll, I'll produce a video for you on that. But you can choose to negatively um, add in dynamic ad targets saying, I don't want my blog because my blog doesn't really talk about a lot of things that are specific to my business, but it's good for visibility. Uh, so I don't want to really show up for any of those keywords. But you can choose like your homepage, product, services, about, contact, etc., and make sure that Googlebot is scroll scanning all those pages and seeing if they are going to be able to produce relevant results. Now, normally, uh, you just launch a DSA campaign, you look at the search terms, you start adding any negative keywords in there uh, that you think is relevant. You could possibly change your dynamic ad targets or add new negative dynamic ad targets, whatever it may be, and you optimize the campaign that way. But you have to start uh, a DSA campaign to see what is what is going to happen. And that's traditionally. There is a trick that I'm going to share with you to look to see, is your website optimized for DSA campaign? And what I mean by that is DSA campaigns they use the content on your site. They ignore your pictures, they ignore your logos, they ignore graphics, they ignore everything except for just your content. And if your content isn't specifically speaking about your products and services enough specifically, sometimes you can have a DSA campaign that shows just random results. Like I'll just give you an example. If you have a, if you have a website that sells like cat condos, <laughs> just as an example, um, and your product pages are not well defined in terms of their content, you could show up for searches like why do cats scratch? Not really a good high commercial intent key phrase for you to be bidding on. You're going to probably have to add that as a negative keyword. Uh, but you had to run that first uh, to see my content probably needs some work. Uh, I had to spend money to find out that it may be not the right time to run a DSA campaign. Maybe you need to take some time to focus on your content on your website first uh, and then re-index your page through Google Search Console. Uh, Re-indexing your website through Google Search Console helps DSA campaigns identify the new content on your site. So I recommend doing that after you've made content changes. Um, but this is a way to identify will a good lead indicator of will this work for me? And so what you want to do is I'll take our website as an example. And you want to go to the tools and then go to Keyword Planner. And inside of Keyword Planner, you're going to say discover new keywords. And then instead of start with keywords, start with the website and you're going to put your website in there. So it's just solely.com. Make sure to use the HTTPS and all the good stuff. Um, if your domain is on www, make sure you put that in there. If it resolves to a non www, make sure to use that one uh, instead. That's actually pretty important. Googlebot will see both, but whatever it resolves to, um, meaning that if you type in www, it redirects to a non www, make sure to use that one. That's the one that Googlebot's going to have more data about. So you can, this is kind of like the, the settings for DSA campaign though. You can use the entire site or you can use only a page and you can add like forward slash products or forward slash services, whatever it may be, or even forward slash a specific product, like enter in just your product page there that you want to focus on. Right now, I'm going to say with our entire site, because our entire site is fairly well optimized for our industry. And so I'm going to click get results. And what you're going to see is I'm focusing on the United States English speaking language. Um, and I'm giving projections to uh, based on the previous uh, search history. And I'm using my site here. Now, what you'll see is it says, hey, if you are going to run a DSA campaign, you'd focus on 2248 keywords. And I'm like, well, that's interesting. And you'll see that it's funny, most of these are in our account anyway. 
Um, but it says the keywords by relevance to how relevant they are to your website. This is your priority level what Google is going to take priority on and the amount of competition of what you possibly would spend to be at the top of the page or uh, top of the page, you no know, high up, maybe like absolute top, which is number one or, or sometimes number two. But you can see the you see the range like this would be number four on the page, just be number one, or number two on the page. Um, and so you get to see, you know, Google Ads solutions is up to like one hundred and seventy dollars per click. If you want to be number one, Google Ads PPC one hundred sixty six. But here's what's interesting is look at the keyword ideas here and these keyword ideas. Imagine this is what you're you're going to show up for for those search terms. Now, Google Ads Agency, good amount of search traffic, good amount of competition. This would be a good keyword. It's in our account. I actually bid on this key phrase. Um, best Google Ads Agency. Google knows we're the best Google Ads Agency, so obviously, like you know, it's just going to show up there. <laughs> um, but that one obviously is in our account here as well. Google Ads Marketing Agency, Google PPC Agency, Google Ads Agency. All of these are really really good. So if I were to run a DSA campaign. It would be fairly successful. What you can also look at, though, is possibly a preemptive list of negative keywords. So maybe you're looking through these and saying, well, agency PPC, eh, maybe not. I wouldn't add it as a negative keyword, but maybe, you know, push it away in the beginning if you just don't want it. Um, let's see. These are all pretty relevant. Um, let's see. Uh, let's say here, Google Ads management fees. You know, I'm not really necessarily looking for someone that might be a little more price conscious. So maybe that's a negative keyword. Um, we are on the upper side of the price. We're not the most expensive agency. We're definitely not the cheapest, but we're in the upper tier of price. Um, you know, we we hire only the best. We I might I believe we are one of the best agencies, and so we have to price accordingly to make sure that we can provide this level of service. Um, but that's one of those ideas. So get Google Ads. Eh. Maybe not really, um, but this is what you would expect. Like, here we go, about Google Ads. I would add this as a negative. I would add it as a negative exact or even possibly negative phrase. Um, I don't really want to bid on people looking for information about Google Ads. They're possibly not yet ready to buy. And I definitely don't want to pay, um, I'd pay probably $4, but I definitely don't want to pay $165 for that. So depending upon how much your daily ad spend is of what your bidding strategy is, you might spend $100 a click on a person looking for just information about Google Ads. Well. They can find that on the Google Ads website. Uh, I don't really necessarily want to pay $100 for that click. So I would probably get this search if I was to run a DSA campaign. So I can preemptively say, aha, this is probably a bad idea. Um, and you can you can essentially add it to maybe a plan, uh, a, create a new plan called negative keyword plan, and then just make sure to add all those in there. So when you start your DSA campaign, you can just paste all of those negative keywords in there. But this is a really good area to to see if I was to run a dynamic search ad, what would be the keywords I would show up for? What would be the keywords I would show up for that I don't want? Or what are some good keywords that I should be adding to my existing campaign and identify where your existing campaign um, holes are by saying, well, this is a great keyword that I didn't even think about. I would add that actually to my my other campaign and leave DSA to be my learning campaign. Um, DSA is a great, great learning campaign. It basically says, here's all the keywords that you're currently not bidding on, all the keywords that you're currently not pushing away from negative, and anything else that um, that you may get from a DSA campaign, it will give you the results. Like if you were to bid on this keyword more consistently, this would be the results that you would get because we got two searches, uh, we got one conversion. Um, we only showed up at less than 10% search impression share because it's a DSA campaign, it's going after all keywords. But if you see some preliminary keywords like that starting to prove viability and the relevant, add them to your regular campaign. So it's just a, a way to identify, will a DSA campaign work for your business? Don't spend the money yet. Use Keyword Planner, run your own website through it, and see if you like the searches that would uh, generate an ad for your company. Uh, thank you so much. This is John Marano Solutions 8. If you like this content, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, ask us all the questions you want. We go live quite often. Awesome does it more than I do. I will find more time in order to do that. But uh, yeah, hopefully you found this information useful. Thank you so much.